All right, thanks a lot, Ben. The old Ramada Hotel officially up for sale. We first reported on this back in January when a federal judge approved a bankruptcy plan for the owners of the former Ramada on First Street. Sanja Hospitality said they will try for 90 days to sell the hotel to pay off their debt. If they don't get a good offer in that time, they say they'll put it up for action. Ashlyn Webb is joining us live. She is outside the hotel to tell us more. Yeah, Frank, I know a lot of people remember it. The front of this hotel used to have limos and fancy cars driving in and out, dropping folks off for prom or wedding receptions. Even the king of rock and roll himself, Elvis Presley, stayed here. But since February 2011, this hotel hasn't been up and running. It's sat vacant. Now the owner, per the order of a federal judge, is working with a brokerage company to get the building out of his hands and off the market. It'd be nice if they did something with it. I'm hoping that somebody come in and see the true value of it and bring it back to life. Ron English and James Freeman work across the street from 108 First Street. They've witnessed the loud sounds of construction and the silence of the old hotel sitting idle. You'd be surprised every now and then when all of a sudden somebody's out cutting back some of the bushes one day and then you don't see anything for several months and then you see contractors and you think, oh, something's happening and then you don't see something for several months or years. But with this news of the hotel filing bankruptcy and having dragged out money troubles. It makes me wonder exactly what's going on on the inside of this building. The listing shows what the inside of the 16 story building looks like now. Stacked plywood in the ballroom, unfinished rooms and debris from construction scattered in the front lobby. Simply a lot of work to be done. Not much of a difference from what our camera saw in August 2021 when owner Ruby Sanga gave me a tour of the hotel. Every inch of this property has been touched. Then Sanga claimed he had poured $12.5 million into renovations. But according to the listing, the estimated renovation cost for a new owner is another $12.5 million, nearly $42,000 per room. I don't think I'd pay a dollar for it because from what I heard, it'd take a fortune just to bring it back up to, up to spec. Frank, I spoke to one of the lenders and the brokerage company today. They say all sides just want this property sold. Hunter Havrick Hack Hotel Group, the brokerage company says they're in the early phases of this process. They've spoken to about 40 to 50 potential buyers, most of which are in the uh, hospitality industry. He says by the sounds of it, if a sale does go through, the old Ramada building will likely be a hotel again. Reporting live in Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. Ah, one of those will have to see it to believe it, though. It's been on sale for so long. Now, we reached out to the owner, Ruby Sanga. He did not respond. The news over his bankruptcy isn't the first flag of money troubles. 13 WMAZ obtained two lawsuits today. In 2018, Park Inn sued Sanga for $304,000 after he failed to renovate and open the First Street Hotel by the deadline in their contract October 1st, 2014. In 2021, Access Point Financial filed a lawsuit saying Sanga defaulted on a $3.5 million loan. They are set to be in court this Wednesday. One of the lenders has filed a motion to dismiss the bankruptcy.